everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how you can add drop downs into your Google Sheets spreadsheets. So I created this small table as an example and these three columns, they all have drop downs, but I created them differently. So I'm going to show you each one. This one, the elements come from a static list. So this is the easiest way to add them. And then the elements in this column originate from this list right here. So if I were to add a new element, that appears over here. And then if you wanted to have those elements come from a different tab, you can also do that. So in here, I created a second tab, which holds a list of names. So if I were to add a new name over here, you're going to see that appear automatically. So I'm going to show you all of these three different ways that you can create drop downs. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with this layout that I already created. It doesn't really matter. What matters is what I'm going to add on each of these three columns. So let's start with the first one. And as I mentioned, this one will originate from a static list. So what you're going to do is you're going to select the cell in which you want to add your drop down and you're going to click on insert then you're going to find the option drop down. So once you click on that, this sidebar is going to appear to the right. So what you're going to do is you're going to add your elements over here. So let's do low, then let's do medium. And then if you need more items, all you need to do is click on this button right here and let's do high. So right now it's already working. If you click on your drop down, you're going to see low, medium and high priority. Now, if you wanted to add colors to those, you can use this option right here. So if I click on this arrow, you're going to find some colors. So let's start using the ones that you can find by default. So I'm going to do a green one for low, yellow and red. So once I click on done, you can close the sidebar and you're going to notice that whatever option you select, the color changes automatically. So these elements aren't coming from anywhere throughout my spreadsheet. I added them directly when I created the dropdown. Now, if you wanted to go back to this sidebar that you had over here and you want to edit your dropdown, maybe change a color, maybe add an extra element, what you're going to do is you're going to click on your dropdown and then you're going to find this pencil over here that says edit button. So once you click on that, your sidebar is going to appear again. So you can keep on adding values. And then if you would like to customize your colors a bit more, you can click on this customize button right here. And then you can play around with these options to change the color of your text and to change the color of the background. But I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to click on done. Now for this second column, I'm going to show you how to create a drop down in which the elements are found on a different range inside the same tab. So this is where we're going to add our elements. I'm just going to quickly make a list of rooms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the cell where I want my drop down to be. And again, I'm going to click on insert and then drop down. Now the difference whenever you want your list to originate from a range is that you have to change this criteria option. So you have to click on this drop down option right here and you're going to see a second one that says drop down from a range. So you're going to select that one and you're going to see that the options disappear. So before you had this space in which you could add items manually. But now when you select from range, all that's gone and all you have is this text box right here in which you're supposed to add your range. Now you don't have to add it manually. You can click on this select data range button right here. And then this small window is going to appear and you can actually move it around. So what you're going to do is you're going to click here on this text box and then you're going to select your range. So this is the range where my list of elements will originate from. So to make a little bit of sense of what you're seeing here, it's just the name of the tab. And then this is the range that you selected within that tab. So you selected the range from cell G5 to G15. So that's what you're seeing right here and you could totally add it manually, but it's way easier to just select it. And if you mess up, you can just select things again and your last selection is the one that is going to get applied. So I'm going to leave it over here and then I'm going to click on OK. And as you can see, immediately after the list of elements that I already have here appear, but I can't actually edit them directly the way I can edit the first one that I created manually. This one is dynamic, so you can't edit the names directly, but you can edit the colors. So you can go ahead and select different colors for your options and then you can click on done. You can close this window and you're going to see your elements over here with the colors that you assigned to them. Let's say you want to add a new room. So let's add master bedroom. 
And now you want to give it a color. So right now, when you add it over here, you're going to see it on your list of elements. And if you wanted to give it a color, you need that sidebar to appear again. So as I mentioned before, the way you do that is you click on this pencil and then your sidebar appears again. So you can assign a color to master bedroom, for example, and then you click on done. You can close this and now master bedroom turned green. So now we created a drop down manually from a list. We created a drop down from a range and now we're going to create a drop down from a range that is found inside a different tab. So it's pretty much the same thing as this one. The only difference is that the range instead of being found in the same tab is going to be found on a separate tab. So I already created a table right here on this separate tab with a list of names. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the cell in which I want my drop down to appear and then I'm going to click on insert drop down once again. Then I'm going to switch this to drop down from a range and then I'm going to select my range. So again, I'm going to click on the select data range button right here. My window appears immediately after you can click on the tab where your range is found. And as you can see, this window is not going to disappear. It's just going to stay there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to select the range that's going to contain my list of elements. So again, what you're seeing here is the name of the current tab and then the range that I selected within that tab, which is everything from cell B4 to B14. So once I have that, I'm going to click on OK. And as you can see, those names immediately appeared over here. So now without closing this, I can just go back to my original tab. And then if I want to, I can just assign a color. So I'm just very quickly going to use this customize button right here. If you don't like any of these colors, you can absolutely pick your own. So let's pick a nice pink for Rachel. So you can move this around. I have the background selected and then I can change the color of the text as well. So we can have that nice pink. And this is a preview of how it's going to look like. So then I'm going to click on OK and then I'm going to click on Done. So now I have my three drop downs. This was created from a list that I added manually. This one was created from a dynamic list of elements that can be found in this range right here. And then this one was also created from a dynamic list of elements, but that list of elements is found on a different tab. Now let's fill up the table and this is the way I like to do it. Whenever I'm going to create a drop down that's going to be repeated on multiple rows, I like to work on just one cell at the beginning, make sure it works perfectly. And then I can just copy and paste that one drop down on the other cells where I want it to be. So let's copy the priorities first. I'm just going to go ahead and copy the drop down and then I'm going to select all the other cells in which I want that drop down to exist and I'm going to paste. Now, as you can see, I also copied the value that was selected originally. So you can just select that range and press delete on your keyboard once. Make sure you only press it once because if you press it again, you're going to delete the drop down. So you can always just undo your changes using command C or control C on your keyboard. So now I have that same drop down and you can do the same thing over here. I'm going to do these two at the same time. I'm going to select them, copy the drop down, and then I'm going to select this range and I'm going to paste and again I'm going to delete all of my selections because it's visually bothering me I'm just going to bring that border back now as you can see from the example this third drop down actually looks different that's because I just chose a different way to display it and I'm going to show you how you do that and I'm going to show you the three options that are available so the way this is looking right now, this is called a chip so I'm going to leave this two like this and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change this one as you can see, we've worked here before, but if you keep scrolling down, you're going to find this advanced options button. So I'm going to click that and then I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to find this display style section right here. So right now chip is selected. If I select arrow, then it's going to change to the layout that I showed you in the example. So it looks like this you can still have those same color customizations applied. They're just going to look a bit different and then you can also choose plain text this is actually my least favorite one because as you can see there's nothing that's visually telling you that this is a drop down so it's very easy to get confused and if you double click then you see the drop down but i don't know i've never liked that one so i've never used it so for me it's between the chip and the arrow right now i'm gonna leave it as arrow and as you can see i edited this and those changes were only applied to the cell that i selected but when i click on done 
school sheets is smart enough to ask me if I actually also want to do this to all the other drop downs that are exactly the same as this one. So as you may recall, we had a drop down, we copied it and then we pasted it on other cells. So all of them right now, they're the same. So if I click on apply to all, then those changes are also going to be applied to those drop downs down below. So that's a cool thing that Google Sheets does. And if I hadn't done that, if I hadn't selected apply to all, I'm just going to undo my changes. I'm going to click on the pencil and then I'm going to click on advanced options. I'm going to click on arrow and then I'm going to click on done. And if instead of apply to all, I just select apply to this instance, just this instance, then those changes are only going to be applied to the drop down that I selected. So once I did that, I can also just go ahead, copy that select another range of cells and override the previous drop down with this new look and then delete the selection. So that's two ways you can do it. And now I'm going to tell you one key difference between this chip display style and this arrow display style. When I click on the arrow display style, if I press delete on my keyboard once, it's going to delete my selection. And if I press again, nothing's going to happen. I can press as many times as I want and my dropdown is still there. What happens with the chip is if I select the chip and I press delete on my keyboard once, it deletes my selection. But if I press delete again, it actually deletes the dropdown. Like the whole thing is gone. So if you're working with people that are not as familiar with Google Sheets, you might run into the issue of them accidentally deleting the dropdown. So I personally always use this one, but of course this one looks a lot prettier. So it's entirely up to you which one you prefer. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you find it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in watching other tutorials, I'm going to leave links to a few suggestions in the description down below. I would love to know in the comments if this was too easy, if this was too hard, or if there's any other feature that you would like me to make a video on. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.